welcome back to my channel so today I am going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this look right here um, I don't know what I was going for in the beginning I just went for it and they're all drugstore products you I did ask you guys on snapchat to screenshot your preferred choice um, of video for today's video so basically I gave you a choice of videos and you guys chose and you chose this video so thank you guys for screenshotting um, and make sure to follow me on snapchat if you don't already it's Anushka Beauty I'll write it down somewhere here and oh my god guys can I please just say thank you so much for 30,000 subscribers like I can't believe like we've managed to reach this far on this channel when I was actually in McDonald's when when um, it happened and I kind of put it on snapchat but I was just I feel like when I think about it I'm just I'm just in shock because the first day I filmed a video for this channel seems like it was yesterday um, so it's very like weird and and it's so weird because I've never felt like I've been really good at anything. I sometimes, like, there was a lot of times in my life where I felt, I felt like I was, um, I don't know what the word is, like I was worthless or like I wasn't good at anything and I, I just had nothing, you know? But then I started to kind of like make up and started to play around with it and I kind of just decided to just film a video and it's just becoming this and I just can't believe it. Like I cannot, I, I can't believe like, there's even like one person out there that even wants to watch my videos you know so it's it's definitely hit me maybe 30,000 may not be a lot to some of you out there but it's so much it's a lot for me like it's a lot so I'm so grateful I'm so thankful and I just wanted to say a huge thank you to you guys and hi to all of you that are new to my channel my name's Anushka thanks so much for subscribing guys and showing me so much love um but yeah, I just wanted to address that and thank you so much. I think that's all I have to say for now. If you want to know how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So I'm first going to start off with my brows and I'm going to be using the Collection Brow Kit again. I used this in my previous video and, and I really liked it. Like it made my look, my brows look really like fluffy and natural still. So I've been, <laughs> I'm just, so I'm so glad I did the last video because... I really really like it now for some reason so I'm gonna use this today the brush that I used in my last video some of you asked about it it's the uh, Bobbi Brown brow groomer um, this is what it looks like I like it because it has a spoolie and the brush on the end, other end but the brush is very very stiff I'm so I, I'm guys I'm so much pain right now because I went to the gym with my sister the other day. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, you wouldn't know, but um, yeah, I went to the gym and I haven't been, well, I know, I do work out at home sometimes, but I have, to be honest, I haven't worked out in a bit, but I do want to like, I want to build my strength and also lose a bit of weight as well, but um, I was suffering and there's a problem when my, my sister can weigh, um, lift more weights than me, that's a problem. Like I was trying to do squats and lift weights at the same time and oh dear lord I was having trouble and apparently I don't squat correctly my knees go in front instead of my bum going back so I need to learn that but my legs are suffering it's also like really quick to use to fill in my brows with this I really like to like have it faded in the inner corner and then go strong like like an ombre brow I'm then going to use the Brow Artist Plumper by L'Oreal. This is in the shade Medium Dark. I'm just going to set my brows in place. This is the brow gel that I use on a daily. Um, so now I'm going to just clean my brows up. And I'm going to use the NYX Gotcha Cover Concealer in Golden. I don't know why, but re recently I've been loving to do more um, kind of... Uh, videos where I just talk through them I I don't know why I, before I used to always do voiceovers but I haven't done a voiceover in so long I don't know why I just feel like I'm talking to you guys I, I feel like it's more personal when it's like this I don't know but let me go let me know if you guys like it if you prefer it like this or if you prefer voiceovers this is a real techniques brush by the way so I basically ordered some um, some Amazon brush sets and I am going to do a video on them because I've been getting so many 
request to do like an an updated kind of like Amazon eBay brush set video so I'm kind of gonna I'm gonna make it a thing like I'm just gonna try more brush sets out there by the way this concealer by NYX is not that great for the under eyes but it's actually really good at coloring the brows I'm definitely gonna clean my brushes tonight because they're just all dirty again. I mean, not all of them, but there's quite a lot that got dirty all of a sudden for some reason. Okay, so now I am. I'm gonna moisturize my skin using the Gynea Moisture Bomb. This says SPF, by the way. That's why it has this like weird white tint to it. I think SPF is so important. I never really used to care about SPF and I used to think because I'm brown skin I didn't need it like let me know if you guys ever thought that did you guys if you're like dark skin did you ever think that you never needed SPF because you, you were dark skin I used to always think that so for color correcting I'm using the LA Girl um, Pro Concealer in orange this is the orange corrector I never know how to call these oh I just say HG concealer <laughs> Can I just mention that this is one of my favourite, favourite brushes. This is the Morphe 509, I think, oh no, 504 brush, but it's just like the perfect fluffiness. And I kind of use it to set my under eyes or like set my base or like blend colours. Like I think I might get a few of these because it's like, it's just perfect for like getting, I don't know how to explain it. It's just perfect for everything really, to be honest. So I'm now going to grab the W7 Banana Dreams powder. I have been using this every day lately for some reason. I've just been giving the Ben uh, Ben 9 Banana Powder a break because I use it every day. And this powder is really good. And I'm just going to set the colour corrector. So that it doesn't mix with my foundation. I mean, I never used to really do it, but it's been working. I feel like it helps a bit. Damn, I need to remove this moustache soon. So after that, I'm going to use foundation. For foundation, I'm going to use... It's such a mess on my table right now. I'm going to use my Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation in tan. But I'm also going to grab my Body Shop Lightening Drops. And I'm just going to add like a few drops to the foundation. I never like get it right on the foundation brush and it just helps to line it a bit it's actually really good at lightening some of you said that it kind of makes your foundation go pink but I've never really had that issue I think it's because my foundations are so yellow like that does not look that's like the perfect color for me I think it's because my foundations are so yellow it doesn't it can't change it to make it go pink I'm going to use two concealers. I'm going to mix the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toffee, which is like my exact skin colour. And then I'm going to mix the Maybelline um, Age Rewind Concealer in Nude, just to kind of like highlight. But I'm going to show you how this is like my skin colour. This is Toffee, by the way. Like, you can't even see that. Can you? No. I mean, it doesn't really do a great job at highlighting. And sometimes I just like it when it's highlighted underneath my eyes. I could also use medium beige to mix with this one, but today I just feel like using my Maybelline one. So can you see like how that's my skin colour? So I'm just going to take my Maybelline one and just kind of mix it in. 
I'm just going to use my beauty blender to blend that all in. I feel like these two gives it like the perfect shade. Because obviously Maybelline, the Maybelline concealer is a bit too light for me. So I have to mix it in with something. Just take my foundation brush and just blend out the edges so there's no harsh lines. And then you want to quickly grab, I'm going to grab the Ben Nye's Banana Powder. Ben Nye's, the W7 powder and just set that in quickly you don't even need too much of this I've kind of stopped baking, like I love baking but I just feel like sometimes I don't need it so before you set, if you have lines on your lid just blend it out first quickly and then set it in quickly. So then for bronzer, I'm going to use uh, my ColourPop. Uh, what's this called? Super Shock Cheek Bronzer in Swift. I freaking love this, and the consistency is so weird. Like if you see, like it kind of. It's kind of like a mousse, you know? Can I see that? It's so funny. It feels like Play-Doh. I really like this. I've been using this a lot lately. For blusher, I'm going to use this um, Silent Disco Palette by MUA and I'm going to grab this colour right here. I don't know why, but I've recently been using a lot of my eyeshadows as blush. Like I've used the Morphe eyeshadow palette as a blush. I'm going to be using the... This is new actually. Um, this is the Milani Bare Necessities eyeshadow palette. Looks like, and it actually does come... With like a little cute brush. And the brush is very handy actually. I'm first going to grab this shade right here. I do have to say though that there's a lot of fallout in this palette. I mean I've used it once. I've only used it once. And I kind of... I don't know how I feel about the palette to be honest. Because I don't know why. I feel like cool browns don't suit me. I wore it once and I, I didn't know how I felt about it to be honest. So I'm going to try and do it properly again. I mean the eyeshadow is last and they're so pigmented. Like I have nothing to say about that. It's just the colour. It's just the palette itself. So then I'm going to grab the dark brown. This brown's very pigmented. This one is again stay. So do you see what I mean? Like it's super pigmented. I'm going to try and stay in the crease. So I'm just blending it out. I'm trying to. I'm going to grab this shade right here. This colour right that I'm going to use now is super, super intense. Like it's very pigmented. Like I haven't determined it. Like I know this, this type, the video of this title is going to be uh, like a drugstore slay all day kind of look. But I didn't decide which if it was going to be a natural or like an everyday or like a nighttime look I don't know but let's just say that it's in between shall we I definitely think that they work better like when you use them with your fingers I'm also just joining it up here as well I'm also going to take this light colour here and I'm going to use that to highlight the rear brown. Okay, 
so now I'm going to be using the Maybelline, no this is Rimmel Longwear Waterproof Eyeliner in Nude. This is what it looks like. Um, it's just a, basically a very pale nude colour and I'm just going to line my waterline. I haven't done this in so long. And you guys know the drill. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. So while I'm waiting for my first layer of uh, mascara to dry a bit, I'm going to go in with some highlight. And I'm going to actually use this colour from the palette. I feel like you can use this as a highlight. But I don't know if it will work out for my skin tone. So we'll see. I'm not going to try and go too overboard with it because it's obviously a bit on the paler side. But, and you don't want ashy cheeks, guys. I'm going to set my makeup with some NYX Dewy Setting Spray. Give it a good shake. You can wear falsies with this look, but because um, of the previous lash glue that I was using by Isla, like the latex free one, like my lashes have broken so bad, so I'm trying to give them a break, but you can definitely wear lashes with this look, especially with like a smoky look like this, I feel like it will definitely make it stand out. Um, but now I'm going to go on to the lips. Because there's going to be a Slay All Day in this title, I thought I'll use a Lottie London a Slay all, all Day lip liner, and this one's in the, the shade Hey Bay. I feel like this lip goes perfectly with the um, look. This is so cool tone. Okay, so and then and then for lipstick, I'm, I'm going to use one I haven't used yet. I'd have swatched it, but it's this Maybelline lipstick in brown sugar. I don't know if this is going to go with this look, so I'm going to check first. Actually, it's not that bad. I hope you enjoyed this video um, let me know if you want to see more makeup tutorials because I feel like I haven't done one in so long if you did like this tutorial make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel and yeah I think that's it guys um I will see you in my next video which will be on Friday mm. Maybe we should slow it down